Hello friends, uh, I am Professor Vagmane Pia. Today we can uh, see the practical on uh, exercise number 9 and 10 and that is to study the uh, study of yield contributing characters, yield calculations and the economics of, economics parameter of, uh, for calculating cost of cultivation of uh, Kharif season crops. You can see the first one, uh, what are the object, uh, objectives of uh, today's practical? That is to know the important uh, yield attributes and the yield, uh, yield of Kharif crops. And then second one that is to know the economics that is cost of cultivation of crops. And third one that is to know the whether the crop is uh, in uh, profitable or the loss. Next uh, that is first one we can see the yield contributing character of groundnut. Uh, in case of the groundnut the major yield contrib contributing characters are number of flowers per plant, the number of pegs per plant, then number of pods per plant, then number of seeds or the kernels per pod, then num uh, weight of 100 pods in gram, then weight of 100 kernels uh, in also in gram and then dry pod yield that is quintal per hectare, then dry kernels or the, the dry seed yield uh, that is in quintal per hectare and the hollow yield that is kg per hectare. This is the major uh, yield contributing characters which it will uh, uh, indicates the final yield of groundnut. Next one the uh, yield contributing characters of, uh, characters of soybean. Uh, in case of soybean the number of uh, flowers per plant, the number of uh, pods per plant, the number of uh, seeds per plant, uh, the diameter of the seed in centimeter, the length of seed in centimeter, then weight of 100 pods per plant, then weight of 100 seeds per plant in gram and then dry pod yield quintal per hectare and the dry seed yield that is in quintal. Uh, this is the major characters uh, that is uh, it contributes the yield of the soybean and then third one that is yield contributing characters of green gram uh, in case of the green gram the number of flowers per plant then number of pods per plant then number of seeds per plant then weight of 100 pods per plant in gram then weight of 100 seeds per uh, plant in gram and then dry pod yield quintal per hectare and the dry seed yield that is in quintal per hectare this is the major yield contributing characters of green gram then uh, next one that is yield contributing character of paddy. In case of paddy the number of tillers, this is a major one, number of tillers per plant, then number of panicles or the spikelet per plant, then length of spikelet or the panicle in centimeter, then length of number of grains per panicle or spikelet, then diameter of panicle in centimeter, then weight of 100 panicle in gram, then weight of 100 grains uh, that is in gram, then yield, uh, grain yield quintal per hectare and the straw yield quintal per hectare. This is the major yield contributing characters of paddy. Next one the yield contributing characters of cotton. In case of cotton the number of squares, this is very important, number of squares per plant, the number of flowers per plant, the number of bowls per plant, the diameter of the bowl in centimeter, the number of locules per bowl, the number of seeds per locule, then fiber yield per plant in kg and weight of the fiber per plant that is in kg and the seed to lint ratio, then fiber yield that is in quintal per hectare and the beginning percentage, it is in percentage. Uh, this is the major uh, yield contributing characters which, yield, which, which will indicate the yield of uh, uh, fiber uh, especially in the cotton. Uh, next point that is uh, how to calculate the yield uh, with the respect to of the specific crop. That is first uh, you can see the example to find out the yield of cotton in terms of seed yield lint and ginning percentage on the following points that is planting spacing 90 by 60 centimeter given then average number of symphodial branches that is per plant given that is 5 then average number of bowls per plant that is 4 number of locus per bowl that is 4 then average number of seeds per locus that is 8 then seed, seed to lint ratio that is 2.5 to 1 and the test weight of cotton seed that is 140 gram and the area under crop growth that is 1 hectare. Uh, along is uh, along with this uh, information you can calculate the yield of uh, uh, cotton in quintal per hectare that is formula area into test weight in gram that is number of uh, uh, multiply by the uh, number of symbolic branches multiply by number of bowls per plant multiply by number of locus per bowl uh, multiply by number of seeds per locus divided by the spacing into 1000 into 1000 into 100. Uh, you can see the uh, by putting this value that is area that is in meter square that is 10,000 into test weight that is given in uh, uh, data that is 140 multiply by the number of symbolic branches that is given 5 
and the multiply by the number of bulls per plant that is 4 uh, multiply by the number of leucus that is also 4 and uh, also multiply by the number of seeds per leucus that is 8 divided by the spacing is also converted into the meter square that is 0.90 by 0.60 into 1000 into 1000 into 100 then uh, yield of cotton that is answer uh, that is obtained this is 16.60 quintal per hectare. This is the first uh, uh, calculation. The second one that is yield of lint. How to calculate the yield of, yield of lint that is in quintal per hectare? The formula that is yield of cotton seed divided by the lint yield. That is yield of cotton seed given uh, that is uh, the uh, lint to seed uh, ratio that is 2.5 uh, divided by the 1 that is lint yield uh, that is ratio of uh, between the seed to lint that is 2.5 is to 1 that is 2.5 by divided by 1 the lint yield of the uh, cotton uh, can be calculated by yield of the cotton seed divided by the ratio that is lint to uh, seed to lint ratio that is 2.5 into 1 that is 16.60 that is the yield of cotton seed divided by 2.5 that is ratio of uh, seed to lint uh, the yield of the lint uh, it will give uh, or it will occur that is 6.64 quintal per hectare. And next step that is yield of cotton, uh, uh, seed cotton. How to calculate yield of seed cotton that is in quintal per hectare? That is formula yield of cotton seed plus the yield of lint that is yield of cotton that is 16.60 plus the yield of lint that is 6.64. The total yield of the seed cotton in quintal that is 23.24 quintal per hectare. Then next point or the next calculation that is ginning percentage. How to con uh, calculate the ginning percentage? That is yield of uh, lint in quintal per hectare divided by yield of the seed cotton in quintal per hectare multiplied by 100. That is the answer. Uh, yield of lint uh, uh, where uh, that is previously calculated that is 6.64. You can see here uh, in quintal per hectare divided by the yield of uh, seed cotton in also quintal per hectare. Uh, that is the 23.24 uh, means uh, and then multiply by 100 then answer uh, uh, it will come that is 28.45 percent this is the gaining percentage of cotton uh, this is the how to calculate the yield of cotton seed then yield of lint and uh, lint, lint yield then yield of the seed cotton uh, by the referring the different formulas uh, the accordingly the information given in the uh, numerical you can put the values and calculate the uh, specific uh, parameters accordingly next point uh, example that is the calculate the expected yield of maize in case of maize that is grown uh, cal uh, calculate the yield of uh, expected yield of uh, maize grain per ton per hectare uh, with referring the following the information that is spacing given that is 75 by 30 centimeter average number of crops per plant that is 2 Average number of grains rows per crop that is 10, then uh, number of grains per row that is 25, and the test weight of seed that is 250 gram, and area under uh, crop that is grown under that is 1 hectare. You can see here how to calculate yield of maize grain that is in turn per hectare uh, by referring this formula that is uh, area that is in meter square 10,000 into or multiply by number of crops per plant, multiply by number of grain rows per crop, then multiply by grains. Uh, per row and then multiply by test weight in gram divided by spacing multi uh, spacing then multiply by 1000 then multiply by 1000 then 100 uh, <coughs> multiply by 10 then i can putting these values on uh, this uh, this formula uh, the answer will get that is 5.56 ton per hectare this is very simple to calculate the yield of maize by referring this uh, formula accordingly information given in the numerical uh, next one, you can see the economic parameters, uh, especially for the referring for calculating the cost of cultivation. Uh, you can see, you see the this image or this uh, sheet where given the different operations that is primary tillage, secondary tillage, and uh, uh, where various inputs are applied that is uh, uh, manures and fertilizers, or the pesticides or fungicides, then water, and then uh, you can see the next one labor per unit. Uh, per hectare per day that is uh, in a uh, hectare basis then total number of labors for cultivation then cost of labors are the materials you can see the this is a manual labor then the, this is the ma 
manual labor and these hired laborers and also the manually uh, the actually bullock drawn or the machine drawn or tractor drawn implements accordingly the you can see here the number of uh, uh, that is plowing number uh, that is one uh, then uh, <coughs> labor required that is five male and female uh, that is uh, here given you can put these uh, cost accordingly male uh, charges and the female charges and then also the seed rate accordingly that is 10 kg per, per hectare required and then you can calculate uh, uh, that is uh, per kg there is uh, a <coughs> total that is 40 kg uh, 400 uh, rupees and accordingly the number of operations uh, given and the inputs you can put these uh, male and female uh, labors required or it can be carried out through either manually or bullock drawn or tractor drawn and then calculate the total cost. Uh, this is our next points uh, accordingly plant protections then harvesting and threshing then land revenue and the uh, other taxes uh, then depreciation of the implements and machinery and the interest on the capital uh, then uh, <coughs> Um, rental value of the land and interest on the fixed capital in family labor, male and female. And this is cost A, cost B, cost C. You can ca calculate accordingly uh, the total uh, that is gross return. Uh, this is a calculation how to calculate net returns that is gross, ret uh, gross returns um, <coughs> with subtraction of the cost C that is cost of cultivation and then per quintal of co cost of cultivation that is uh, by referring the formula that is net cost C divided by quantity of the main produce in quintal and the BC ratio this is very important in, in terms of the profit uh, the, the benefit cost ratio that is a formula gross returns divided by cost C that is cost of cultivation that is 1.29 means uh, one, ru uh, 1 rupee investment uh, will it will get uh, that is 29 uh, paise this will indicate the ratio of uh, uh, benefit cost to uh, it will be profitable or loss. Thank you. This is a today's top uh, practical on the uh, yield contributing characters, then uh, uh, yield calculations and the economics of the uh, important Caribbean season crops. Thank you.